Welcome. So in this problem, we're going to solve a two-dimensional equilibrium problem. And this is one of the simpler equilibrium problems in which we only need to use two of the equations of equilibrium. The sum of the forces in the x direction equals 0, and the sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0. So the approach here and the, the, the goal here is to find the force in each of the cables that you see on the, the diagram here. So we're given a weight that's hanging from the bottom one at 100 pounds. And what we're going to do is start out by, by breaking it up into smaller systems and then drawing free body diagrams at each of the points, um, starting with B and then moving up to C, and solving for the unknown forces in the cables. So we're going to start by breaking it up. And to draw the free body diagram, what we need to do is we need to replace anywhere we break our system so what we're going to do is we're going to break our system around point B. And anywhere we break the system, we're going to replace that with a, uh, a force, either a known or an unknown force. So we have the cable going down to the weight. We have the cable going over to point A. And we have the cable going up to point C. And what we're going to do is we'll just draw them out to a, approximately where we made the cut in the system. And then what we'll do is we will add the forces. So we have here, we have force F, B, C. Here we have force B, A. And then going down, we have the known, the known weight, W. W equals 100 pounds. The other thing that's very important when you're drawing free body diagrams is to get your geometry. So we know this is a 30 degree angle. Now, we have two unknowns here. So we can use our two equations of equilibrium to solve for this. The reason we do not use the third equation of equilibrium, the sum of the moments, is because all of our forces are concurrent on a single point B. And so no twisting will occur in the system. So once we have this, um, we need to break up uh, all of our forces into x and y components. And you can see here that we already have uh, W and FBA in horizontal and vertical components. So let's redraw our free body diagram break, breaking FBC into its horizontal and vertical component. I'm going to simplify this right down into the particle at point B. And I'm going to break this into horizontal and vertical components. So let's do um, a horizontal component. F, B, C in the x direction, and F, B, C in the y direction. Okay, And those will then, their resultant will be in the direction of F, B, C. Now that we have everything in the horizontal and vertical direction, we'll be able to solve our equations of equilibrium. So let's write F, B, C and F, X and F, B, C, Y in terms of of FBC. We can do that with trigonometry. So if, again, if we know the angle here is 30 degrees, we can state that FBCX is equal to FBC times the cosine of 30 degrees, and FBCY is equal to FBC sine of 30 degrees. Okay, And so once we do that, now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. And we can state that the sum of the forces in the x direction equals 0, equal. And we have to respect the sign, so we get minus FBA. That's this one right here. And we have plus FBCX. And those are the only two forces going in the horizontal direction, so those have to sum to 0. Let's expand that out a little bit. 0 equals minus FBA plus, and now I'm going to substitute in here, FBC cosine of 30 degrees. Okay? I have two unknowns in this equation, so I can't solve for them. I can simplify a little better. I can say FBA has to equal F. BC cosine of 30 degrees. So I have a relationship between the two of them. Again, remember FBC is the is the vector 
the magnitude of the vector FBC um, at the 30 degree angle. Let's do the same thing over here for the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. We get minus 100 pounds, that's our w, plus FBC in the y direction. Okay, so zero equals minus 100 pounds, and it is important to uh, keep those units in your calculations plus, I'm going to do the substitution in here now, F, B, C, sine of 30 degrees. You'll notice that we only have one unknown in this equation, so we can go ahead and solve for it, F, B, C. So F, B, C is going to equal 100 pounds divided by the sine of 30 degrees. The sine of 30 degrees, put in your calculator, you're going to get a, a one-half. So FBC is going to equal 200 pounds. So I've just solved for this up here. FBC is equal to 200 pounds. And I have to ask myself, does it make sense? Does it make sense that the vertical, the only vertical force in here at an angle has a magnitude greater than my weight? And it does, because again, the vertical component of FBC has to balance out the 100 pounds. So now what I can do is I can take this value and I can plug it in over here and I can solve for FBA. So let's go ahead and do that. We get FBA is equal to 200 pounds times the cosine of 30 degrees. And solving that we get FBA is equal to 173.21 pounds. Okay, so now I've solved for two of my forces. Go ahead and mark that on my diagram here. FBA is 173.21 pounds. And again, does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense that I have a 173 pounds horizontal here balancing the horizontal component of the 200 pounds at 30 degrees. So I've, our, I've now solved for two of my unknown cable forces and what we're going to do next is we're going to move up and, and break out our system here around point C. The choice of, of where I draw these free body diagrams is such that I cut through the cables that I need to know. So if I have an unknown, again, the force in each cable, I need to cut through the unknown um, object in order to find the force. So when I look at this here, I'm going to draw another free body diagram at point C, and we'll work from there. So our free body diagram at point C, I've got the point, I have the forces pulling off to the right here, F CD, I have a force going up here at a slope, so it's a, a run of 3 to a rise of 4 to point E, so I'm going to call that FCE, and I have this force down here, FCB, at a 30 degree angle. Now we just solved for FBC up here as 200 pounds, and we know that from Newton's laws, equal and opposite forces. Um, Equal forces in the opposite directions are going to be equal, and we can kind of, so we can state that FCB equals FBC because they're the force in the same cable. So now we have this free body diagram, and what we need to do is we need to again break these into um, horizontal and vertical components, and then apply our equations of equilibrium. So let's go ahead and redraw the free body diagram with the forces broken into components. So FCD going off to the right here, and then we have FCB in the Y direction, and we have F FCB in the X direction, and those of course we can get from up here, okay, and then we have other forces going up here, we're going to have F CE in the Y direction, and then we get another force. I'm going to draw it above, but it's actually concurrent. Actually, I'll draw it over here since it's along the same line of action. FCE 
in the x direction. Okay, so now we need to write, uh, figure out what these are, because what I'm showing here is one, two, three, four, five unknowns. Obviously, we only have two equations of equilibrium, so it's difficult to solve those. However, we need to put things in terms of one or two unknowns and able to solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's look at first the things that we know. We know from up above that FCBX is going to equal FBCX, which is equal to FBC cosine of 30 degrees, which is also from up here equal to FBA. So we can we can state that FCBX is equal to 173.21 pounds and recognizing it goes in the negative direction because it's pointing to the left. FCBY is going to equal FBCY because it's the same cable as we worked on up there is FBC sine of 30 degrees, which we can see from up here is going to just equal 100 pounds. I can solve these. I do know what FBC is and what sine of 30 is, so I could do it uh, by you plugging 200 into this equation right here, and I'll get 100 pounds either way. So now I can go ahead and write those out there. I can put in my forces over here. This one is 173.21 in this pounds and this is a hundred pounds which really makes sense because my whole system is vertically that hundred pounds I applied at the bottom. The next thing I need to look at is the unknowns and let's relate FCEY and FCEX to FCE. So if I look at this closely what I see is again I get a parallel I would get a parallelogram here Okay, and then again, the slope of this angle is 3 to 4. So if you're comfortable working in angles, you can convert that and figure out the angle from the vertical here. Um, or when you're given a 3-4 triangle, we know that a 3-4 triangle, we can use Pythagorean's theorem, that a triangle with a vertical of 4 and 3, we take the square root of the sum of the squares, we're going to get 5. And most people have memorized that a, a 3, 4, 5 triangle resolves. So what we can use is similar triangles. If we have a if we have an angle here of um, or FCE is at the same is similar to the triangle right here, we can make the statement that F C E in the X direction is going to be is um, proportional to 3 as FCE is to 5. So FCEX is going to be 3 fifths of FCE. Really this is just going to be the um, the cosine of the angle. So we could figure out the angle, take the cosine of the angle, we're going to get 3 fifths. Similarly we can get F CE in the y direction is to 4, because it's the vertical, as FCE, the diagonal, is to 5. And we solve that, we get FCE y equals 4 fifths of FCE. So we can go ahead and put those in. FCE y equals 4 fifths of FCE, and FCE x is 3 fifths of FCE. And now I look at this and I see I really only have one unknown here. I have F two unknowns, FCD and FCE. So now I can apply my equations of equilibrium and when I do that down here, let's see what we get. Again, we're going to use sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero equals, let me do it explicitly, FCEX if I'm picking to the right being positive, then this gets a negative sign, minus FBCX, again going to the left, plus FCD. Okay. Now let's plug in what we know. FCEX, we can grab from up here, we get 0 equals minus 3 fifths of FCE, 
F BCX is minus 173.21 pounds plus FCD. At this point I have two unknowns so I can't solve it so let's jump to the vertical. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. Again I didn't do it above but it's really important to indicate your sign convention. So up is positive so I get FCE in the y direction going up it's positive minus F B, C, B in the y direction and that equals zero. Let's expand that out. We get zero equals four-fifths of F, C, E. I can plug in my, what I know about F, B, C, B, Y minus 100 pounds. Now I only have one, one unknown in this equation. I can solve for it. Bring the 100 to the other side of the equation. We get 100 pounds equals four-fifths of FCE or FCE equals five-fourths of 100 pounds which would be 125 pounds. So now I've just found the force FCE that's the one going up diagonally and I can take this number and I can plug it in over here to find FCD. So let's go ahead and do that we get, let's bring the negatives across, we get three-fifths of 125 pounds plus 173.21 pounds equals FCD. Therefore FCD has to equal the sum of those two which is 248.21 pounds. Okay. So now I've found that one. So let's go back and, and take a look at this and say, see if it makes sense. Um, we determined that this one here was 1 FCB. We solved up above. FCB was equal to 200 pounds. FCD, which we just calculated down here, is 248.21 pounds. And FCE is equal to 125 now we ask ourselves, does it make sense? Well, the FCE is inclined not as steep as FBC, so I would expect that to be a smaller number than 200. Um, and looking at the balance up here, I'm, I, I feel like it, it, it looks pretty good. So um, we can plug things back in, we can solve them in different directions, and so we end up with a final solution shown here, FCD 248.21. FBC 200 pounds, FCE 125 pounds, and then the bottom cables up here we solved for FBC of 200 pounds equal and opposite the other one, FBA of 173.21. And that gives us a solution to the cables in this problem. Now a few assumptions we made is that these are connected together in a flexible manner so we're not transmitting any moment at these points and this thing is in static equilibrium. Thank you.